Hey guys, what's going on? Dominic here from Media Glitch. I have been reading comics for about 30 years and there are so many comics that are out there and one of the things that I want to help you out with is kind of where to get started, what you should spend your time and your money on if you're going to be buying comics. And uh, so let's get started. Uh, so Godzilla Resurgence is coming out this year. It's a brand new movie by Toho, the creators of Godzilla. That we haven't had. It looks so good. That's right, Joel. Look at that monster. Oh gosh, he looks amazing. That it looks like molten lava. He looks so gnarly. Anyways, it comes out this year, probably because it's trying to like give the American version some competition. We haven't seen a new Godzilla movie from Toho since 2004, Godzilla's Final Wars, which I didn't like too much, but I'm really, really excited about it, and it gets me excited because that means there's gonna be more Godzilla comics. A series just happened to drop right now by IDW, who has the current license called Godzilla Oblivion, and it is written by the guy that's currently writing Batman and Superman right now. He had a long name, and I couldn't even pronounce it. I'm so sorry, sir. And illustrated by uh, Brian Chirula, who did uh, Big Trouble in Little China. And so, yeah, it, it just dropped. So far, the series looks really good. It's an interesting concept. You basically got um, these guys. It's kind of like Stargate. These scientists, they crack interdimensional travel. They go to the dimension next door. Turns out that uh, whole dimension is like in a heck in a handbasket because uh, these monsters are just destroying everything. So it's like a little five-part series. It looks good so far, and I like the direction it's going. They're taking some bold moves. Uh, and the artwork, I'm, I mean, they haven't given me too much on the story, so I'm going to just give it four hot dogs out of five for starters. We'll see how it goes when the series wraps up. But uh, there is a complete series that I do want to talk about that IDW pu pushed out a couple of years ago. It's in a collected edition right here, Godzilla history's greatest monster written by Dwayne Swierzynski and uh, illustrated by Simon Gain. Dwayne Swierzynski, uh, he did some Punisher stuff, I believe, some Cable stuff and Judge Dredd. And he does an amazing job with this story. Um, it basically follows a group of mercenaries, these monster hunters who are trying to stop all these monsters that are popping up all over the globe, destroying everything. I'm pretty sure that they modeled the main character, Boxer, after one of Jason Statham's characters, because he's this really cockney British guy, tough guy, and he has a beef with Godzilla, but it turns out maybe their beef is misplaced and, got, and the monsters aren't really the bad guys. I won't spoil it for you. It retails for uh, about, geez, $29.99, but you can get it probably a lot cheaper on Comixology or Amazon. It's totally worth checking out. Um, I didn't think that the series kind of resolved itself the way it really was hoping for, but I mean, it's all the monsters you can expect. So four hot dogs out of five for Godzilla, history's greatest monster. And I want to take this last section of the show because there's lots of great Godzilla comics, stuff coming out, stuff in the past. Well, we have not seen IDW. If you're watching this, listen to me. I want to see a Minya series. That's right, the son of Godzilla. We have the son of the greatest monster of all time doesn't get his own series. Even if it's a backup story in the back of the comics, it's like two or three pages, you know, just, just something fun. We have all these series that come out and they throw all these obscure monsters that you haven't seen since the 60s, like Jet Jaguar or friggin' uh, the Gorgosaurus, but we don't have anything with Minya. And I love Minya. You know, just have him team up with Jet Jaguar and maybe they stop Gabara from bullying him again. I don't know, he blows a little puff of smoke. He's the best character. So if you're listening, get a Minya series going. I got an illustrator that you might like, name me, but if not, there's some other guys out there that are pretty great. Uh, so this is some food for thought. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching this on live TV, please head over to our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash media glitch show. I put a link to the trailer below for Godzilla resurgence. Oh, good. It is really awesome. You really got to check it out. There's that, there's a shot with a tail and it looks amazing. You got to check it out. It's check out these other series. Uh, Way arguably so. I just watched that again, actually, because I was so excited about the trailer. It it's, it's dark. Well. It's a dark movie. I, 
no, I like it. As it's a not bad. as a Godzilla fan, I'm, I'm gonna love it no matter what, even if it's the '90s version. I love Godzilla. I just love Godzilla. Anyways, if you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate you guys watching. Take it easy.